Hundreds of unclaimed portraits of World War I diggers have been gifted to the National Archives. The photographs were taken in London before the men left to fight on the Western Front. Many of the images are of men who never came home and they have a strong resonance as Australia continues to lose soldiers in modern theatres of war. Siobhan Heenew reports. You can look at all the war records you like, but nothing brings a soldier's story to life like a photograph. It's a magic moment. There's no other way to describe it because it's at that point you make a connection with someone in your family's past. Though the war was fought nearly a century ago, those connections are still being unearthed. Amid 16,000 portraits of World War I soldiers held by the Imperial War Museum in London, an Australian researcher has found 500 Australian faces. I got it in my mind that I should look through the collection and, and pull out the Australians and see, see who was there. Soldiers on their way to the Western Front would often stop by the photography studios of London to have their pictures taken. The idea was to send the dashing portraits back to their families. But some of the men never made it back from the battlefield to collect the photos, and their families never knew they'd been taken. The government's made sure descendants can now have access to the images being brought back to Australia, digitised, put online, so that potentially anyone can look at them. Relatives will be able to print the photos off online or visit the archives. Photos like these can often trigger emotional responses, particularly when they've never been seen before. And it's not uncommon for archive staff to find family researchers in tears in the reading room. Now hundreds of new photos can be discovered and viewed by all Australians bringing the memories of the long lost a little closer to home. Siobhan Heenew, ABC News, Canberra.